Brought to you in part by Warrior Boats, the Badger Sportsman, Big Snow Resort, Wilderness North Lodge, Jiffy, Hard and Soft Fishing, Bartline Barrels, Cold Snap, Deep Freeze, Otter, Commit Law Firm, Lynch of McGonagall, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, and Wings Over Wisconsin. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. You know, this is the thing about filming TV shows, guiding, you gotta fish in all different kind of conditions and that's how, what makes you a really good fisherman. So we're gonna go out here, we got a strong north wind, a little bit pitched out of the east, I wish it was more east, but uh, we're gonna go out here and see what happens out on a Bay of Green Bay and hopefully we'll catch some big walleyes. This week on Larry Smith Outdoors, we're up in Sturgeon Bay, and boy, I'll tell you, I very seldom get a chance to come over this side of the bay, and I know that you guys got some tremendous fishing, actually probably some of the best fishing in the state for walleye and smallmouth, big pike, and a lot of great salmon fishing comes from over here. Hey, Lonnie, you know what? Tell us what we're going to be doing today. You know, today we're going to start out trolling these shorelines, working shoreline breaks. It's rough out, and uh, we're going to try to locate some fish. Uh, rip jigging is going to be a little tough with how rough it is and mm -hmm. has been. So uh, we'll start trolling, and then yep. we'll start out with some rip jigging, or we'll end up with some rip jigging or trying to do that if it lays down and this wind lays down. That sounds great. You know, what stage of the game are these fish in? Are most of them, are we in between? Are they spawning still? Some fish are spawned, some are spawned out? Yeah. What stage we're, is it? We're about, I would say, just about to the tail end of the spawn, or okay. right, right in the, I wouldn't say middle, we're past, we're over the hump. Okay. So, a lot of these fish are spawned out. We're finding a couple that are still spawned with spawn in them, but uh, I would say it's just about over. Okay, you know, it's always funny that uh, on this side of the bay here, you know, the fish actually spawn later than the western side of the bay because of the, the rivers, the tributaries coming in and out, yeah. all that warm water. A lot shallower our bays, you know, we have a lot of shallow water over there. So it's kind of nice for guys once that that bite slows down over there and they can come over to this side. And you know, when guys are looking to catch, people are looking to catch a big walleye, you know what, you're the guy to contact yeah. and, uh, and get them on some big fish. And you always have big fish on this side of the system. <laughs> Sturgeon Bay is tremendous. I mean, Green Bay in a whole is, is an unbelievable fishery. I guess we're blessed to be here. I love fishing up here. You know, in the, in the summer, you got the smallmouth, the, the walleye. You know, spring's incredible as well as fall. Hey, and you know what? It's a really special day because we got our good friend, Barb Gary. Yeah, Barbie! And yeah. you know what? Every time I fish with her, it's usually a pretty lucky day. So you know what? We could start calling her Lucky Barb, lucky you know? Barb, well, yeah. my, my goal is to get one rip jigging, because I've been trolling out here for a couple years, but I haven't got one rip jigging yet. So that's my goal for today. Well, there's a lot of pressure on Lonnie then. We'll oh, see how boy. good of a guy he is today. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're going to give her hell and see what happens. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned. Let's see what happens uh, today out here on Sturgeon Bay. And uh, you know what? Hopefully that wind dies down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior boats. 
A legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, the premier outdoor magazine. Published in Oshkosh and written by Wisconsin sportsmen for Wisconsin sportsmen. Get the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see a picture of you having fun in the outdoors. And to have a chance to win a trip with us here on Larry Smith Outdoors and a hardened soft water fishing kit, all you have to do is submit that picture to thebadgersportsman.com. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs. To our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. And jig fish them, right, Lonnie? Oh, yeah, we're gonna okay. do some rip digging. Hey, Lonnie, why do you have drift socks off uh, each side of the boat here? Do you know? Yeah, you know, when it's rough, I like just fishing in these three to four footers, Larry. It's nice to have boat control. Okay. And I've got the Minkota down in the front, and we got the stern uh, kicker motor going, but on those surges, we're doing two and a half to three miles an hour, so I like to control the boats when we put the drift socks out. Okay. We can be right in that zone there for that 17 to 19 where we want to be in terms of speed, miles okay. per hour. Right, and you don't just put one drift sock off because it would keep, it yeah. would pull the boat that direction, right? So yeah. you, you got two out to even the boat out, and that's a huge thing, huh? Pulling, taking that surge out of, out of, out of the bait. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you got a drift sock on each side, right. it takes that surge out, you can control your boat with your speed. Okay. It'll be right in that, uh, that speed you want to be with for these walleyes. You know, most of the time, Lonnie, fishermen are exaggerators. And I think you were exaggerating a little bit before when you said these waves were two to three footers. I think before they were like four to seven footers, right? <laughs> yeah, they so were most big. Most of the time we exaggerate. Yeah. You, most of us are exaggerating the other, the other. Yeah, side. I try to, you know, everyone BSs a little bit, but I always try to be, I always try to be as honest as possible. And yeah, we were two to three, maybe a four or five, you know, maybe a seven. Right. But you know, there's a key when you're fishing big water, and when it comes to trolling, you know, is boat control is everything. And when you're coming. You would agree, right? When it comes to trolling, that you gotta. The big thing is that, especially when you get them big swells, that you gotta get into the trough, but yet keep boat boat control. Is yeah. that by putting them drift sacks off. As soon as you did that, I was watching what you were doing, and I was watching the, the speed on the locator, and it was amazing how they took that surge out of there. Yeah, it worked really good. Like I say, it gets you dialed right into your speed. Right. And it, you know, it keeps you all fishing. Otherwise, you're in those surges, and that makes a difference between. Catching fish and not catching fish. We like to catch fish. We like to catch fish. Hey, we got two nice walleyes going here. The sun's out, the fish are fighting. Got them all. Get them, Larry. Get them. Nice. Oh, nice fish. Nice job. That's a nice fish. Woo! Let's clear this one and get the next one, Barb. Barb, if it's bigger than yours, I'll cut his line. <laughs> nice work, Larry. Got him. Nice job, you guys. That's a nice pair of walleyes, though. 
I'll tell you, you know, what we're doing is we're basically trolling off the shorelines here, pulling different types of crankbaits, and it's a great way to, you know, to locate fish too. So for me to go jig fishing. Yeah, we'll get all rib jigging. <laughs> Oh, good. Nice Larry, job. Larry hates trolling, but no, sometimes I don't you gotta do it. I think trolling's a great way, but I'm a I'm a jigger. But boy, when you pull fish like this, you can troll all day long. Oh. Nice job. Patrick, what are you doing out here? Mark, I'm going fishing this weekend, but with this massive selection of trucks, I can't figure out which one to take. The brand new Lynch Paguanago stores have a massive selection of brand new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Make your next stop at the all new state of the art Lynch Paguanago dealerships today. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermaltech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all-new XTH hub shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XT hideout, on up to the ever-popular XT and XT Pro Series shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. I'll tell you what. Boy, I tell you, I just started popping that jerk shed. Oh, oh I've got where. It's a nice fish, Lonnie. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big fish. Nice fish, Lonnie. Nice yeah. job. Woo! I tell you, you know what? Boy, you know, it's a whole different story when you're fishing in these rough conditions, Lonnie, just to, to try to keep your balance. Yeah. And so I'm kind of laying on the floor right here, trying to keep my keep the, the line down. The problem is when you start snap jigging out here, you guys, is you really gotta watch the line. You gotta keep that line straight when it's coming in. So you're always angling your rod to the angle where the wind is. And for me, getting down on the floor like this really makes a big difference on there. So yeah, whew, and I was getting hot there. I'll tell you before, it was a little chilly, but you know, the trolling part is absolutely awesome. And we were catching them trolling, and that was a good way to locate these fish. Now what we did is Lonnie decided that, hey, let's go back up there and let's start rip jigging with ripping wraps and use some plastics. And, and uh, boy, it didn't take us, you know, five, 10 minutes, and there's a nice fish. Hey, Lonnie, I can't believe that you discovered this type of fishing. I love, yep, rip jigging with Lonnie, love it. Lonnie, you got yeah, one? I got one, boss. All right, excellent. Oh, there he is. It's a nice fish, I see him. Nice fish, Lonnie. Oh, I, oh, oh. you see that horrible nut job? Give me another shot. There, a little better. Oh, nice job. Woo! If I would have lost that fish, it went, you know how big he is? He's a lot bigger than I am. <laughs> Look at that. Sturgeon Bay walleyes. Excellent. Just, just love it. Oh, there. I'll I tell you. It. Beautiful oh, fish. Oh, nice one. <laughs> you hit me on the back of them. Nice job. Oh, oh, nice oh. I back. seen that thing with barely hooked. Woo! All right. Oh. All right. I am hooked on this. You are hooked. This is the way to do it. I'm telling you, girl. This is the way to do it. Nice job, Lonnie. Feel like a pretty decent fish? Yeah. They've all been pretty good today. <laughs> I tell you, Lonnie, you really got this rip jig and dialed in out here. Nice, oh, nice job, yeah. Lonnie. Look Holy that. smoke! That's got some length to it. It's oh, heavy, man. too. Oh, unbuttoned in the net. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. 
nice beautiful fish. golden nice brown fish. fish i love the color on these fish up in this part of the bay too they're a lot yeah they're pretty dark up here yep. Just smoked it, Larry. We got a double, honey. We got a double. Boy, we're on him now, like crazy. Woo! I love this. Ha <laughs> ha, Larry! Barb, awesome. Barb's gonna be busy. She's gonna have to double Who's metal. Who's first? I know, Larry's closer. Larry's closer. Hey, no, Larry. go for it. Go for it. There you go, Barb. Barely hooked. Go, be, go get Larry's. I'll get him. I'll get you guys good. I'm gonna grab mine. Hey, we had a double going and it's so rough out there the boat still bouncing bouncing around and barb was nice enough to net yours and because yours was first and i'll tell you what i just decided to grab mine i'll tell you lonnie Woo! i love this fishing they're starting to go now yeah you know we had a ball when we came up here uh this winter with you and we're fishing white fishing big walleyes and uh boy i'll tell you I, I don't fish over here too much on this end of the lake but this is a tremendous fishery here and what yeah. a fantastic way to spend the day. All right, hey Lonnie, great job. Let's get back and uh, let's yeah, catch some more. Should we release these? Yep, let's let these go. Cool. There we go. Boy, I tell you, you know, this fishing is absolutely getting to be, I mean, the sun came out, the water warmed up a little bit, and it's been fish after fish now. And I'll tell you, boy, it is amazing the amount of fish and the size of these fish that are coming off this end here, I'll tell you. This is a typical look at that fish. There's a 10 pound fish right there. Whoa! For me, dog! Boom! Yeah. Right there. And I'll tell you, when you look at the, the size of these fish that are coming off of this Sturgeon Bay area, I mean, there's a there's a fish that's probably close to 30 inches right there. And look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a 30 inch for sure. Yep, and that is, you know, again, that's what it's all about here up in Sturgeon Bay. You know, trophy fish guide service, is that what you call it? Green Bay trophy fishing. Trophy fi Green Bay trophy fishing. I can understand why you call it Green Bay trophy fishing because that is absolutely fantastic. And boy, I'll tell you, when you can come up to an area, there's not too many places that you can consistently come and catch walleyes of this magnitude. And I'll tell you, Door County is definitely one of them areas that you can do that in. That is an awesome fish right there. Oh, she says, I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen today. We are making walleye crab cakes or walleye cakes, I should say. First of all, I have to season them up. I got to, I got to get the walleyes in the oven for about five, six minutes. You have to cook the walleyes first. Um, salt, pepper, and a nice white wine over them. And you got to cook the walleye first, pull them out, cool them down, and then break them up into crab cakes. So I'm going to start with the walleyes first. Once again, I'm going to put my buddy's nice homemade white wine over the top of it. This is going to go in the oven, 350 for, like I say, six, seven, eight minutes until it turns real white. Then I got to let it cool down. While I going in, once again on the top shelf, spread them out a little bit, get them to go. Come back in about six, seven, eight minutes, see how they look. Okay, that's perfect. See how it's real white? You want to cook it this far, and then you got to let it cool. Take it off the pan, cool it, so that way when, uh, that way when uh, you break it up into the breadcrumbs, it doesn't cook your egg and stuff. So I'll have to pull this off. Oh, that's perfect. See how it's breaking up? All right, guys, the fish is cooled off. I have cut up red bell pepper, panko Italian seasoning, celery finely chopped, red onion. Put your fish in here. Don't break it up till you have everything in the bowl because you want to keep it in pretty good clumps. This is a probably about, well, this was two decent walleyes right there. It's once again, it's up to your taste, how much you want in there. Break your egg up a little bit. Break it on opposite bowl. The wife just reminded me of that because you don't want the shells in there just in case you don't want to wreck your, your recipe. Dijon mustard, a couple good squirts of Dijon. 
parsley flakes. Everything is to your uh, taste, folks. Once again, oh, all the stuff is on the website for the recipes. A little salt, a little fresh ground pepper. Now that's the fun part. Get your hands in there. Mix it up. All right, let's put the crab cakes in the frying pan. I got a little bit of olive oil in there. Hear that noise? All right, folks, let's plate this. Walleye cake's coming out. I made a little dressing go with it. Hellman's, ranch, sriracha, even parts, a couple squirts of sriracha. Put that right over the top. Looks good. Mmm. That's very good. I'm surprised it turned out that good from a guy that just hunts and fishes for a living. <laughs> With ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6-inch, 8-inch, and 10-inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip-ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip-up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. The latest issue of the Badger Sportsman will be in our readers' hands within the week. Not a subscriber? Now is the time. You won't want to miss this issue. It's packed full of everything you need to know for open water success, no matter what species you're targeting. For availability in your area and subscription information, check out badgersportsman.com today. Here we go. You guys, holy man, I'll tell you, it's fish after fish. This is unbelievable. Very oh, nice. nice fish. Oh, a nice fish. Boy, is that fish a dark one, Lonnie? Man, oh man, you know, on our side of the lake, we don't. Woo -hoo! Yeah, gotta love that. I'll tell you, another great walleye. I switched from the Kalins, and I was doing good on that, and I just, Barb had her rod sitting there, so I wanted to see how I could do on this. this uh, blade bait or rip and wrap and boy I'll tell you absolutely look at that look at how dark that fish is too it's a nice fish I mean, that fish is absolutely dark all spawned all yeah look at that I mean they don't look as big when their bellies aren't plumb no but I'll tell you that's a nice fish you know 22 23 inch or not as big as that 30 in the last one but <laughs> boy I'll tell you I'm just working that bait a little bit slower and they're just absolutely annihilating this yeah what a great way to spend the day I can't think of anything better out of here. Here we go. I got Barb. You know what? I got another one. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, oh, I'll tell you. Man, fish. oh man. Woo! Gotta love this. I'll tell you that. Boy, this is another good fish, Barb. That hooked very good, Barb. Nice job. Woo -hoo! Oh, oh, did you, you see know. that, Barb? Oh. As soon as you touched that fish. Oh, oh yeah. Came up. Look at that. Holy moly. These fish, look how pretty these fish are in the build of them. Yeah. And I'll tell you, when you can catch these fish jigging like this, holy cats, the trolling's awesome to locate them. But once you locate them like you did, Lonnie, that was a great idea. 
putting them boards out and saying, hey, let's cover. You got so much shoreline out here, you guys. And the way to really eliminate it is to throw out your boards, put your cranks on, and troll like Lonnie did. And once we had a double, and then we caught another one right away, so we marked it in on the GPS. And I'll tell you, this has absolutely been awesome. They're rocking now. They are rocking. Let's <laughs> let this big girl go and, yeah. and see Get another one here. Yep. Out of here. Boy, this is fun. Nice job, Barb. You just smack it. They do. That's absolutely awesome. Boy, I'll oh, tell you. Woo. There's a and head you shake. got you must have got that one. That one on the right away when it landed. That's the head nice shake. fish. Feel Not good? as big as yours. <laughs> if it is, I'm bumping it off, Barb. <laughs> oh, it's a nice fish, Barb. Real nice fish. Oh my god. Nice god. job. Woo. Oh, oh. Gotta love it. You know, Barb. Tell us a little bit, real quick, about what you do. I mean, you are all about getting more women involved in the outdoors, and I know you do an absolutely fantastic job, and you can understand why it's so important to get more people, and especially women out here, because it's such a healthy environment. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I tell you, you know, I have women who five years ago would have never dreamed they would be fishing the Bay of Green Bay. Right. And now they're out here trolling, they're really good. And I tell you, thanks to Lonnie, our next lesson is going to be snap jigging because you're going to come here next time, Lonnie, and you're going to see about six women out here <laughs> snap jigging, <laughs> taking all your fish. That's all right. <laughs> right. On. I That's really appreciate it. You know, and learning here from you guys, I mean, what what a great resource. Now I can, this is, I'm hooked for this. this it is. is. Yeah. Woo! Nice job, girl. Larry, I'll tell you what, I gotta admit, it's great having you in the boat today. <laughs> I fun. love it, man. You know, that's the great part. Up there and I'm still learning. Right, you know what? You're always learning, and that's the great part about our new show is that we're trying to teach people and educate people, and we learn a lot of things from like you and Barb and other people that we fish with. That's a very exciting thing about this outdoors, you know, show that we have. It's just all about learning, educating people, and having fun. That's, that's what it's about. Hey Lonnie, as you can see, you really showed us a great time up here in Sturgeon Bay and we really appreciate it. And I'll tell you something, I'm really looking forward to the future fishing with you over and over up here and all the other bites that you have got, you've got going up here. And Barb, you know what? It's always very special to be able to fish with you. Thanks everybody for watching our show and really appreciate it. And just remember, it was a great day to be alive. Everybody else for not holding the fish up long enough. You haven't said you better start hollering at her. Yeah. Yeah. What are you discriminating against? Hey, you're looking a little hungry. I am. Hey, I got something for you. Driving the Ranger. What the hell would Warrior say? Well, oh. <laughs> That's what they would say.